A given that this is Y, find the approximate percentage change. So, it wanted percentage change in Y. So, change in Y can be represented by delta Y. When X change from 4 by 2%. So, we see here from 4. So, X is equal to 4. So, we see here, we know that we have delta Y, right? So, we know that delta Y divided by delta X is equal to dy over dx. So, change in Y divided by change in X is equal to dy over dx. So, if you wanted to find delta Y, so we know that delta Y is equal to dy over dx times delta X. So, to find delta Y, we need to know what is dy over dx and what is delta X. So, we see here we have Y. So, Y is equal to 1 over set X. So, 1 is over x to the power of half because when we want to differentiate we don't have we don't want to have third so we can bring the power up so x negative x to the power of negative half you see here half you bring it up it will become negative so here dy over dx is equal to you bring the power forward so you have negative half so this one is x so you, then you minus the power with one so negative half minus one so you get negative half x negative 3 over 2, right? Negative half minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. So, you don't want the power to be negative after we, after you differentiate. Then you bring it down. So, negative 1, you have 2 below. So, this one would be x 3 over 2, which is also equal to negative 1, 2. So, over 2 means set 2. And this one would be x cubed. So, this is your dy over dx. So, now you have dy over dx, which is equal to negative 1 over 2 set x cube. So, what is your delta x? So, you need to know what is your delta x. So, it mentioned x changes from 4 to 4 by 2%. So, 4 by 2%. So, increase by 2%. But how many is the change? So, we see here, increase by 2%, right? So, 2 over 100, 2% is equal to 2 over 100 times 4. So here we get 8 over 100 which is also equal to 0 0.08. So change in x is, change in x is equal to 0 0.08. Now you have dy over dx, you have delta x. So you can substitute times delta x is 0 0.08. So, we know from 4, so x is equal to 4. So, delta y is equal to negative divided by. So, we change x to 4. So, 2, this one would be 4 cubed times 0 0.08. So, here negative 1 divided by 2, 64 times 0 0.08 which is equal to, this one 64 is 8, right? So, negative 1 over 2, 8 times 0 0.08 so negative 1 over 16 times 0 0.08 so here I get negative 0 0.005 so we see here it wanted in percentage you know here delta y is equal to negative 0 0.005 so we know that when x is equal to 4 y is equal to 1 over set x is 4 right so 1 over 2 so here when after y change so we know that the new y is equal to y plus change in y right so we know that our y is half and change in y is negative 0 0.005 so here I get so 0 0.495 so this is the new y so the percentage so so, percentage, usually we calculate the new y. The new y minus o y divided by o y multiplied by 100%. So, we know new minus o, this is one is the change in y, which is delta y divided by y time 100. So, because, you know, because the change, this one is the change, right? So, delta y is equal to negative 0, 0.0. 0, 0, 0.05 divided by y is 1 over 2 times 100. So, we get negative 1. So, this one is in percentage. Negative 1%. So, uh, percentage change is negative 1. 
Pues en 9, given that y is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 6, and there is a small change in x. So we know that small change in x is delta x by p percent when x is equal to 2. Find the corresponding percentage change in y. So we know that when they are talking about percentage in y, change in y, so we know it is delta y. So we know that delta y divided by delta x is equal to dy over dx. So the ratio is equal. So delta y divided by delta x is equal to dy over dx. So here delta y is equal to dy over dx times delta x. Okay, so to find delta y, you need to know what is dy over dx and you need to know what is your delta x. So this one is change in x, this one is change in y. So this one is y, so we can find dy over dx is equal to, you differentiate this one, so 2 times 3 you get 6, then the power minus 1 you get 6x, when you differentiate negative 4x you get negative 4, differentiate constant you get 0, so you have dy over dx dx. So you need to know what is your delta x. So you see you say that the change in x by p percentage when x is equal to 2. So we see here the change in x is equal to, so we see here p percentage means p percent is equal to p divided by 100. So change in x is equal to p over 100 times the value of x is 2. So which is equal to 0.02p. So the change in x is 0.02p. So here we have the dy over dx and we have delta x. So we can substitute. So dy over dx is 6x minus 4. So delta x is 0.02p. So we know this one happened when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, delta y is equal to 6, 2 minus 4 times 0 0 0.02 so here delta y is equal to this one is 6 times 2 is 12 12 minus 4 is 8 times 0 0.02 p so here we get 0 0.16 p so we see this one is dy over dx but what the question one is the percentage change in y so we know that usually the formula of percentage is equal to so usually new y minus old y divided by y times 100 percent so we know that the change in the y is the is equal to delta y divided by y times 100 percent so which is equal to so delta y is equal to 0 0.16 p but what is the value of y so we have this equation here so we see here y is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 6. And this happened when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, 2 squared minus 4, 2 plus 6. So here we get 3 times 4 is 12 minus 8. This one is plus 6. So 4 plus 6 is 10. So this one divided by 10. So we know that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 10 times 100 so here we so this one and this one can be cut off so this one we get 1.6 p percent